former top manager at Australia's banking watchdog has been accused of an array of scams by the credit union that headhunted him for the role of chief executive. Lyndon Kingston was sacked from BCU, which now claims in court papers that he lined his pockets with secret commissions, expense rorts and sham payouts. The corporate cop, cop ASIC, is investigating the allegations, but Mr Kingston is fighting to clear his name with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Josh Robertson has this exclusive report. Lyndon and Anna Kingston were the picture of an upwardly mobile couple. He was boss of a leading credit union where she held various lucrative roles. But that image of corporate success has been threatened in a multi-million dollar legal battle involving extraordinary allegations of sham payouts, expense rorts and abuse of executive power. It's a matter of principle and this is behaviour that we just won't tolerate. Steve Target is chairman of BCU, originally Banana Coast Community Credit Union. Under Lyndon Kingston's leadership, BCU grew into one of the country's leading community lenders. But last October, Mr Kingston was shown the door. He's suing in Queensland Supreme Court for breach of contract and wants $3.4 million in compensation. But BCU has fired back. And we've had something happen that we regret. Um, but we're going to address it and we're not afraid to make it public and deal with it up front. BCU's counterclaim alleges its former CEO committed acts of fraud and dishonesty which went undetected over three years. He's accused of awarding unauthorised, uncommercial contracts worth $2.5 million to six companies, two of which, Gaga and M2M, allegedly paid him secret commissions amounting to at least $10,000 a month. Another of the companies belonged to his wife. Anna Kingston's company was paid $1,000 a day for consulting to BCU. The credit union now claims she worked at most four and a half hours a day in between housework, school runs and going to the gym. In its defence, it claims this was substantially the same, albeit less work, she did as a BCU employee before her husband awarded her a sham redundancy worth $345,000. The board did a thorough investigation. Um, and they acted at the time that they felt comfortable with their findings. Before BCU, Lyndon Kingston supervised credit unions for the banking regulator APRA. Years later, when APRA raised concerns about one BCU contract, the credit union alleges Mr Kingston fraudulently concealed the secret commissions to his family trust called Licklick. The couple is also accused of pocketing $91,000 in sham living away from home and travel allowances when they were living 1.6 kilometres from BCU's corporate headquarters. The ABC can reveal the corporate watchdog ASIC has been investigating the allegations for months. Lyndon Kingston's one-time employer APRA will only say it's been working with BCU to address issues associated with the lawsuit. The credit union is still incredibly strong. We're well capitalised, um, deposits are safe, and uh, it's just something we have to work through. In his claim, Mr Kingston says he was sacked because he opposed keeping on the former chairman who denies this. Mr and Mrs Kingston deny all allegations raised in the counterclaim. Their lawyer told the ABC they would be strenuously defended and they'd cooperate with any investigation. Josh Robertson, ABC News, Brisbane. Malcolm Turnbull.